So today I'm going to be pruning this mango tree. And this tree is a common mango. It's vigorous. It has a really thick canopy. I prune it all the time. Just one flush and gets right back dense again. Uh, this is about the biggest tree in the orchard. There's a few more trees like the keep mangoes that have also reached that near 10 feet. This is about 10 feet. Most of the keep mangoes are about 8 feet. But this is the biggest, one of the biggest canopies in the field, so I'll be going through this one. So with, when I have trees that have reached this maximum size already, I need to start reducing its height uh, in order to keep it, you know, within the, the height that I want it to be. And so uh, in order to do that for this field, because I'm hand pruning, I'll probably just be going through and uh, removing one third of the orchard. So I'll pick the one branch that I want to remove for the season and then the rest of the pruning will be removing any inward growing or downward growing or cross branches that I can remove on the inside to open up the canopy so we can get good airflow because what is good is having a really big uh, fruit set if uh, you get disease damage from the fruit because it's just too dense and there's no airflow and there's no sunlight getting through it so you have a lot of black spots and you have a lot of anthracnose damage so you want to open up the canopy remove a lot of the inside growth so you can get sun penetration and wind penetration throughout the whole canopy and so that's what i'll be doing today and we see how it goes I'll be using my saw and my clippers and that's about it and sometimes uh, you know I'll, I might need a ladder to get the very top because I don't want to use too much. Aside from keeping the, the height which is for me, the maximum height would be about 8 to 10 feet, preferably closer to 8 than 10 feet. Uh, but also keeping it within its boundaries on the uh, width-wise. So I'll also be re removing growth <coughs> to uh, lessen the width of the canopy. Not just the height, but bringing it in also. was about it. I took care of the height on that one. And I'm going to go in and kind of pick out some of the inside cross-growing branches. This stuff would be unproductive anyways. And remove that. That's about how I would approach, like, I guess, 
a, a tree that is already maybe missed the pruning or needed to be pruned more than the year before. Most of the trees are not that big and not that dense and, does, not that dense and doesn't require that amount of pruning, which I might think that a pruning like that, that would have <coughs> the, there is the possibility that it would skip a year. So instead of just removing like one third of, of the canopy, I just kind of remove the whole canopy back down to six feet. But I also feel that, you know, there is still a possibility that it is going to get uh, flowering in this year because there wasn't that much thick wood removed. So that is about what I have.